Hi, my name is Karen, and we are currently doing the third challenge in the jQuery course on Khan Academy, making web pages interactive with jQuery. And uh, yeah, let's see what they're asking us to do. So this is called Famous Discoveries, and it says find the math heading. This web page displays famous discovering discoveries using HTML headings and lists. In this first step, use jQuery to find the math heading with ID math heading and store it in a variable called math. If you'd like, you can use console.log to see what's stored in the variable. Awesome. Okay, so we learned about, yeah, um, storing, finding, and storing uh, jQuery um, elements within variables. So let's see. We're going to need our jQuery. Um, whoops, we need to, let's see, it says find the math heading and store it in a variable. Okay, so var, var math equals, and now we can do the jQuery sign, which is this dollar sign. And then we're going to say we want, um, within here we want to find the math heading ID. Cool. Now we have stored this um, element with the math heading ID within this math variable. All right, next step. Now use jQuery to change the math heading to be the previous text plus an exclamation like wow or amazing. Okay, so if we wanted to just replace it, we could do, uh, you know, math.text equals and then new text, but we don't want to do that. We just want to add something. So we're going to go math.text, and I'm looking at the hint up here right now, uh, math.text um, plus whatever we want to add to there. So let's say yippee. Oops, and let's add a space so it doesn't, so there's a space in this text here in our window. Cool. All right, on to the next step. Now it says change the science heading. Now follow the same steps for the science heading. Use jQuery to find the element with ID science heading. Store it in a variable named science and change its text to be the previous text plus some new exciting text. By the way, we'll talk about other ways to change elements in the next section. Cool. All right, so we just need to do the same thing we did before, but this time with science, basically. Um, so I declared a variable science and now I'm storing in that variable the element with the science heading ID or yeah and let's see let's put some semicolons on the end of our lines here it's not giving me any errors but I think we should do that and if you think not I'd love to hear about it in the comments. <laughs> um, why or why not? I think we need the semicolons though, just because. But anyway, our next thing is to um, add more text to this science heading so the text will appear on this line after science discoveries. So we're going to do exactly the same as we did here with math text, but now this time with science text. Science.text, science.text. And then plus, woohoo! Cool, math discoveries, UP, science discoveries, woohoo! All right, um, Hopper has popped up and said, good job. So let's see, did it work? Are your headings all much more excited now? Yes, I believe they are. And Hopper has said, congratulations. So we've completed that challenge. Um, really good job finishing the third challenge in this course. I'll be completing the, the rest of the challenges so um, and posting a video about it every day. So come back and check those out and I'll see you in the next video.